um, I don't want to lose that point. Um, you said that the central bank was active on this since autumn 2008. Mm -hmm. And the reason I want to just pick up on this here is, I'll come back to you, Senator. The reason I want to pick up on this here is because this committee sent you the correspondence from Deputy Jim Daly, right? And if you read that correspondence, and I'm sure that you have, I take it that you have, it is clear from the correspondence that he was after the tracker mortgage issue. Now, he may not have understood at the time how deep the issue ran within the banks, but he certainly was trying to uncover what he saw as an issue. And the bank banks, they ducked and dived their way through that correspondence. Sorry, at yeah. the central bank. Mm -hmm. And that's absolutely clear. So that means that the banks that you were dealing with were hoodwinking you. Not you personally, but the central bank. And they were presenting information. They knew what he was after. He was discussing tracker mortgages. He may have been talking about tracker mortgages in arrears. But they were not prepared to divulge the information that they knew about at the time, which essentially is the issue that we are confronting here today. Now, that leads me to the question that Deputy Senator Burke raised about culture. Because within that reply from the central bank, you know, dating on, on, on Deputy Daly's query and dating back to the autumn of 2008, is certainly the issue of culture, where the central bank, as it investigates the banks relative to their culture, I hope you have a big mirror down there that you will look into. Because your language in your report, this, in your opening remarks um, this morning, is different. It's stronger. And De Deputy McGrath rightly underlines the word, you haul them in. You will hold individuals accountable. It's about time you said it. And, and let, me, let me finish, because I don't want you to, to get into a comfort zone here where you're, you're, you're plan masked by Deputy McGrath or Deputy Doherty that you're doing well. I will not judge you on your language. I will judge you on the action that you are prepared to take on behalf of the customers that have been robbed by the bank, whose lives have been devastated and so on. And I want to tell you that we still receive, so yes, you're coming some of the way, you're coming some of the way, and whether it was this committee or someone else that dragged you to this point, you're, you're, you're not there yet as a regulator, in my opinion. So let, let, let's just see how it all works out. So the culture within the banks has to change. And I have to say that from my experience to date of the banks, that that culture is as embedded as ever. And what you're seeing is not a culture change. What you're seeing is a combined effort of the banks to provide the appropriate smoke screen until they can get beyond this. Now, I, I'm sorry for, for going on, but I want to explain it to you. And the reason I say this is because you're concentrating as a, as a central bank on the mortgage issue, on the tracker mortgage issue. You're now looking at the culture. And while you're doing that, while you're doing that, the next generation of bankers are being educated by the vulture fund managers such as Capita and others into how you deal with customers. And the experience, my experience and the experience of members of this house that have come to me informs me that those fund managers or agents are enhancing that culture that makes the customer pay. So when you refer to, when you refer to the, the improve and do things better, they're improving and doing the customer in the sense of robbing them better. And 
capita are the leaders in this in terms of their aggressive approach, in terms of making the customer jump every time that they ask, in terms of disimproving the mental health and well-being of people. They refuse to give information and they've often asked members of this house to leave their office. Now, I want to tell you this, that I attended capita meetings, and I've said it here before, but let me make it absolutely clear, because they're regulated entities that have refused to come before this committee. And they have said directly to me, or to customers in front of me, go get the money you owe us from your mother, your father, your neighbours, your friends, the credit union, but give me the money. We want the money. And their attitude is shocking to a, to a degree that no country, our parliament, our society should accept it. And you regulate them. So I want you to tell, now this has to do with trackers because it's all mixed up in the SMEs of trackers and everything else. And out of what Senator Burke has raised directly with you, I want to tell you that the culture is alive and well and being further educated by Capita and others so that its life will continue beyond the smoke and mirrors that the banks are presenting at present. So will you tell me what you will do in relation to Capita and others to insist that they come to be accountable here before the houses of the people, we represent the people, and what can you do in relation to the vulture funds and their obligation to the original conditions of the lender to ensure that they um, ad adhere to those conditions because they're blackguarding people up and down this country.